Hello guys, Michael the X here. Today I'm going to be doing a evidence video for a Dragon Ball Z rep for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's DLC roster. Alright, so I know the last one was an indie title and now we're going to an anime slash manga, but here's the thing. There are three possible characters, even when one of them has a 0 out of 10 chance. He's highly requested though. To make it. Which I decided to start off with the most likely then to the meh then to least likely. So I think that Shallot has the most likely. I know that that'll disappoint a lot of fans. But here's the thing Shallot originated from Dragon Ball Legends, not manga or anime. Unlike Goku, or the second character that I'm going to be talking about. So, the reason why Shallot, aside from that reason, should be in, is because, well, but, unlike Goku, he isn't too OP. Because Goku, unless it was Dragon Ball Goku, or once Goku barely got the Super Saiyan transformation, he is way too OP for every single fighter. I know I could easily nerf him, but and it will nerf his power level, but people would not enjoy it. But Shallot, on the other hand, a lot of people wouldn't know how powerful he is because he barely got the Super Saiyan technique inside the story. And yeah, Shallot would be pretty cool to play as. And then. The last thing that I want to say is, Shallot is a pretty cool character. I'm pretty sure Gaggy and the people who work on Dragon Ball Legends would help tremendously to make Shallot happen. Which, by the way, Gaggy, just so you know, you have my full support on Shallot inclusion all right so the next character is Android 21 all right this one is a man to me because you know she did originate from a video game which was Dragon Ball Fighters or Dragon Fighters I would just say Dragon Ball Fighters the reason why I think that 21 has less of a chance than Shallot, even when she's well known compared to Shallot, is because people would prefer Shallot over 21. I know we need more female representations, but 21, no. I know her final smash would probably be her turning a, a enemy into candy, then bite, and will eating a part of the candy if they are over 100 and then she'll eat the full candy but something but then the enemy will go launch you super far to where it's almost a KO or is a KO and if it's not over 100 they could just have her take one bite and then she's like and well she throws it like how she does if the enemy is not fully KO'd not fully KO'd the damage from that bite does doesn't KO them But, I'm pretty sure that would lead towards a lot of people being angry that she made it before Goku. I mean, we do need both more villain and more female representation. But, I don't think that Android 21 will be that specific thing. So, now let's talk about the one and only Goku. The Super Saiyan. Well, not Super Saiyan, but Super Saiyan. Uh -uh. You guys get it. The reason why Goku will never make it in is because he's an anime character. I know Nintendo are making the choices, but I'm pretty sure they'll follow Sakurai's word. I know a lot of people are saying, but Persona 5 is a anime as well. No, it's not. It's actually a video game, which surprised me. Even when... That Joker looks like a 
freaking anime character. Anyways. So. The reason why Goku will never make it in. Compared to any other character. On the list is because of the two reasons I just said. And another reason is because he's too OP. Like I said earlier, they'll have to nerf him to either the Dragon Ball Saga Goku, the one using the Power Pole and Flying Epis, or but when he first fought Piccolo, not King, it will not Piccolo's dad, Piccolo Jr., the one that's in the series right now, or it'll also be when Goku first achieved the Super Saiyan, or achieved the first. And or choose Kaioken, but I'm pretty sure they will go with Super Saiyan. Kaioken might be a move for Goku. But, like I said, I don't think Goku will make it in because, well, like I said, just because he is an anime slash manga character and he's too OP. So that's going to be the end of this video. Goodbye.